I don't understand, Tim Black, why you have such an attitude. You're so grumpy. Do you look at these stories? Do you pay attention? If you are not upset, angry, pissed off, if you're not a little bit of grumpy, or a whole lot of grumpy, if you're not pissed off, if you're not fed up, that's because you checked out. If you're drinking too much of the, of the eggnog, the spiked eggnog, bruh, you you living in a privileged land. You so high, so high, you don't know what's going on. I have a story on my desk of a 23-year-old man killed, murdered by the state. This young man right here. You're not going to hear it covered everywhere else because they don't cover our stories. They don't give a f unless they can get leverage out of it. They don't really care. Goodson, Casey Goodson. This young man was killed holding Subway sandwiches, Johnson. Subway sandwiches. In Ohio. Casey Goodson. 23-year-old black man from Ohio on 12-4. Officer of, what is that? What's the name of that police force? I know it was a SWAT deputy. I have all the information here. Mr. Casey for a fugitive and fatally shot him three times in the back. He was walking into his own home with a sandwich, not a gun. The shoot first, ask questions later, mentality must end. We demand justice for Casey. I demand justice for Casey. Young man right here. Gusson's family says that Casey was holding a sandwich. He was on his way back from the dentist office on Friday. There was a SWAT team, a SWAT deputy officer in Columbus, Ohio on Friday, a part of a operation that were looking for a fugitive. They saw Casey driving by, Casey driving by. They said Casey, they, apparently they say, they, they alleged that Casey flashed a gun at a bunch of cops inside his own vehicle. Is it possible you just thought he did? Is it possible you saw something? I don't know. The officer, the officer pursued young Casey. The officer's name is Sheriff's Office, said the deputy who fired the shots, Jason Mead, 17-year veteran of the force, was assigned to the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force at the time of the incident. They had just wrapped up an unsuccessful search for a violent suspect. The man, Casey, was not an object of the search, nor was he wanted by law enforcement prior to the incident, according to police. They shot the young man three times in the back in the doorway of his own home. Keys still in the door. Him on the ground in a puddle of blood with sandwiches. According to family members, Goodson was at the side door of their home, having just come back from a dentist appointment, carrying a Subway sandwich when he was shot three times in the back by Jason Mead, a Franklin County Sheriff's SWAT deputy. Law enforcement officers, as I stated, said he waved a gun. Why the hell would he wave a gun? That don't even make sense. But what also doesn't make sense is there is no body camera. There's no dash cam. There's no body cam. Why? Because they're not required to wear them. And what also doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter if they had them or not. 95 times out of 100, nothing would happen to the officers, even if we had them on film. They could even sit on the evidence, lose the evidence, like they did in the Laquan McDonald case. So many other cases where we have footage, nothing happens to the cops, qualified immunity and all. They're lying, says Kaylee Harper, Goodson's sister. My brother literally walked, literally walked across the yard, walked into the back fence to get to the side door, had his subway sandwich and face mask in one hand, keys in the other, unlocked and opened the door, and stepped in the house before they shot him. The attorney said the family does not believe Gunson would ever wave a gun at officers. Casey was 23 years old, never had any type of crimes. 
He was good. He worked at the Gap. He loved his family. He just enjoyed being a big brother, enjoyed being with his family. He loved them very, very much. So, this young man is dead now. Shot three times in the back. The crime of having a gun, right? That's the crime. They say, they allege, he waved a gun as he was passing by. That's the crime. Not that he approached someone. Even if you accept their version, even if you accept their version of the events, which I do not, I'm trying to get to a point. If you don't watch past this point of the video, do not comment. It's very important that you get this. So according to the officers, if we believe them, which you should never believe them without evidence, just like they tell us you should never believe us, without evidence, and we'll see what happens in court. We have to let it play out. Just let it play out. You're so quick, let it play out. There you go, play in the race card. Let's let it play out in court. But if you believe the officers, Casey was killed because he waved a gun because he had a gun in his possession. Though he did have a license to carry, didn't have a license to carry a gun. Because it's legal in Ohio, remember? You guys are familiar with this, right? Mr. Crawford shot in a Walmart holding a gun in the state. You can hold a gun in an aisle where they sold guns. Remember that? Tamir Rice killed in a schoolyard. They thought he was a grown man. He was 12. They thought he was a grown man. What was he doing? He was black and holding a toy gun. Officer got off in that one, too. This is a video making circulation on Instagram right now. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's of, uh, well, hell. Just keep in your mind why Casey Goodson is dead. Shot three times in the back. And then take a look at this. Put your hands on the No. What are you reaching for? Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey get it? out of the car, man. You got a gun right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. Get out of the there's, car. Rights. there's rights to get this. Out of, there are rights to this. Do you have a control? There are rights to this. Whoa, get out Hold of up this right car. there. It's open. My hands are up. My hands are up. No. No, you got to. This is on body cam. You have body cam, sir. So, just in that first couple of seconds of the video, they pulled this white guy over. They want him to get out the car. They see he has a gun. He has a gun, Johnson. The man has a gun. I wonder if they're going to kill him. Same state. No, I don't know what state. I'm, actually, I don't know what state this is. But we know what happens in Ohio when black men have guns in states where they can't have guns. We know what happens in Ohio when black kids have guns in a state where people can legally carry guns. Let's see what happens to this white guy who has a gun who won't get out of the car and the cops are afraid their voices get elevated because he has a gun in the car. This just keeps watching. Bear with me. I have a point. Put your hands on the No. What are you reaching Girl, for? Reaching. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey get a... out of the car, man. You got a gun right whoa, whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. Get out of there's the car. rights. There's rights to this. Get out. Do there are have rights a... to this. Do you have a control? There are rights there. Whoa. Get, get out. Hold up right there. It's open. My hands are up. My hands are up. No. No, you gotta you gotta. This is on body okay. cam. You have body cam, sir. Put you your have a body hands cam. over your eyes. Do you have a body cam? Put your hands over your eyes. Do you have a body cam, sir? Put your hands over your eyes. Yeah, I will send this dog on you. I will shoot you if you do. Don't don't keep your gun. You have rights to You have rights to you. Oh, my God, Johnson. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on, Johnson. Hold on, Johnson. He told the officer, if you let that dog go, I'll shoot you if you do. He told the officer he'd kill him. He threatened the life of the officers. He threatened the life of the officers. Right there. It's right there. You see it. You hear it. One more time for people in the cheap seats because, you know, we tend not to get this right. Put your hands on the steering wheel. No. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, get out of the car, man. You got a gun right there. Whoa, whoa. 
Put your hands on the steering wheel. No. What are you reaching for? Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey get, get out of the car, man. You got a gun right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. Hey, there's, the rights. there's rights to get this. Out. There, there are rights to this. Do you have a control There are carry. rights to this. Whoa. Get out Pull up the right car. there. It's open. My hands are up. My hands are up. No. No, you got to. You this got is on body cam. You have body cam, sir. Put your hands over your eyes. Do you have a body cam? Put your hands over your eyes. Do you have a body cam, sir? Put your hands over your eyes. I will send this dog on you. I will shoot you if you do. Don't. 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 Don't
there's rights to this. You know there are okay, rights to listen, this. Listen, we can figure this out. We, we can talk about this, okay? Well, but right now, this. we can't listen. talk about it with you not listening to us. Just, We're not listening. Okay? You are first of the ground. All I'm asking that, you to do... You're violating my rights just, right now. Let go of me! You just put your hand on a gun, sir. sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you, you, you pulled a gun on me unconstitutionally. Just, please. And I did my in response. Get, oh. Please, we don't want please. to do this, man. Just okay. get out of the car. I'm just asking. We'll get this figured out. Just come out okay, and just you, get out of the you car. You release me now. We can't do that. Release okay. it. I have Second Amendment rights. Okay. Just, just get out of the car. Come on. Come back here. Excuse we'll talk me. about it. Excuse me. This right here is a reason we'll to get this. myself cast a doctrine. You know that. We'll get this figured out. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Please. Just dude, come on. Get out of the car. Sir. Just get out of the car. Get just step out. out. The guns down. No. Just no, step out. out just step out of the car. Just step. Don't. Don't do it. Get out of the car. You're on double blue. You know what's going to happen, right? Just stop. You need to get out of the car. That's so a lawful order. You're going to go to what, jail. What, gun, a gunfight? Oh, take me to jail then. Go ahead. Just come on. you're obstructing. I can't. No, you're, you're obstructing. You're pointing a gun at me, sir? Right now, my life's in threat. Okay. Well, we have. I don't see body cam on this, sir. I'm just gonna drive uh, away. We, I'm not gonna bother anybody. No, you're Hands not. On the seat. Don't, don't do this. Nope. Don't do it. Don't. He fucking drove away. He drove away, Johnson. They didn't shoot at the car. They didn't shoot at the car. They didn't shoot at him. They didn't tase him. They didn't stick the dog on him. They did nothing. In fact, they said, please, please, please. One officer even said, we don't want to do this, man. We don't want to do this, man. Please, please, man. We don't want to do this. We don't want to. He told them, I'm, he told them, I'm going to drive away. And then he drove away. <laughs> I saw, I showed you guys a video. Did I show you guys a video last week of the two kids who were shot in the car? I did show you. Yes, I did. Probably the only person in this space that even covers these types of stories. Some people would rather still be talking about Bernie's a bad guy. Being old Bernie didn't defeat the Democratic Party by himself. He's still talking, just still having that conversation. I saw a lot of you watching it too, by the way. That's still a thing. That's still a thing we're doing. Still blaming Bernie for, still, still busy burning, blaming Bernie for not defeating the Democrats. <sighs> Meanwhile, we got two kids shot point blank range by the cops last week. They said they thought the car, the cops said they thought the car was stolen. The kids tried to drive away. They shot the kids point blank dead. This guy has a gun, won't step out, puts his hand on the gun, threatens to shoot the officers. It's just fine, drives away. But we don't have two different different Americas. It's all the same. And Tim, why do you even cover this stuff? Get back to talking about the uh, journalist. Get back to talking about the shit we want to hear you talk about. Casey Goodson is where this story started off. He worked at the Gap. He was a good kid, a good young man. Who well, they said they saw a gun in, somewhere in his vehicle as he drove by, as they were looking for a fugitive, not for Casey. And for some reason, they felt the need to shoot him three times in the back, and there will be no charges on these officers. Mark my words. And there is no dash cam footage. But at some point, we got to realize we don't need dash cam footage because we have different Americas where there's different rules for different people. Those officers in this video merely just did not want to hurt this guy. That's all it is. They make a decision in their minds who gets to live and who gets to die, Johnson. That is the only difference. They decided that this guy should live. They decided Tim Irvine shouldn't. They decided that Eric Garner shouldn't. They decided that George Floyd shouldn't. That Breonna Taylor shouldn't. 
These are decisions that are being made every day. Every day they're being made. Now, the Goodson case is being handed over. Now, here's the problem with that. You're handing over a case that occurred on Friday. The crime scene is shit now. The Bureau of Criminal Investigation took over the investigation. But Attorney General David Yoss overrode that and turned down the request. We received a referral to take a three-day-old officer-involved shooting case, not knowing all the reasons as to why, why so much time has passed before the case was referred to the BCI. We cannot accept the case. No one even wants the Goodson case. And it makes sense why. It stinks. You know what happens to a crime scene that's in someone's house where people still live there after three days? It gets rolling, Johnson. BCI is the first call because we cannot be the subject matter experts unless we're on scene from the beginning to document the evidence of what happened from the start. Three days later after the crime scene has been dismantled and witnesses have all dispersed, does not work. Casey Goodson was killed in his own home. Walking into his own home after stopping by Subway to pick up sandwiches for the family. Shot in the back three times while committing no crime. And this happens a lot. Even happening once is too much, but it, it happens. It just keeps happening. I will do my best to keep you updated on this story. I will not enjoy it. I will not like it. Yes, it will make me grumpy because I'm tired of people getting killed in cold blood and there being no justice at all, no justice at all. And yes, I'm upset about all the other tragedies and travesties of justice that occur. But I see this so much. It just boils me on the inside, you know? It just boils me on the inside. It's okay. I doubt the ethics of anyone who doesn't cover this stuff. Do you have any audience, you have to let them know what's happening in this world. It can't just be arguing over Bernie Sanders and Democrats and Republicans. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show. Independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.